Hi folks, this is Desiree from Maybe I'm Medicated. I recently told you guys on Instagram that I would be doing another jewelry haul video. Um, I got a whole bunch of pieces in the mail recently, so I'm actually going to split this up into two videos, or else it's going to take me a very long time to do one video, and I don't want to bore you. So I'm going to get started right away. Um, I think this first video I've got about 10 or 15 pieces to show you. Um, so let's get started. This first one is a I Love Steve pin. Um, I'm going to pair it on a denim jacket. Uh, it's from the 1980s. It's very cute. It's got the back on it. I love that it's on the original card. I might not even use it. I might just put it in with my stash and just stare at it because it's just so pretty. I don't want anything to happen to it. My fiance's name is Steven, so it works out perfectly. This next piece is a charm for a necklace, and it's a made in Mexico sterling silver 925 um, piece that I'm going to be putting on a black velvet cord to turn it into a choker. It's actually stamped. It's a beautiful little piece, perfect for springtime, so that's a great little piece to add to my collection. I like figural brooches. I love to add them. Um, I'm doing a Kentucky Derby look in May for a friend of mine as a special gift to her. Um, it's going to be an over-the-top awesome thing, so this will definitely be added to my what I'm wearing that day. Um, I'm going to be actually styling a few other people, so one of them might be wearing this too. I'm not sure yet. Um, I have a few little different jewelry options for that day. I'm going to do a vintage, probably between 1920s and 1940s Kentucky Derby look. So a horse brooch is a must if you're doing Kentucky Derby. My favorite crowning glory, well, one of my favorites, because I have a lot in this, this video, is this Juliana rhinestone brooch with beautiful brown stones and just it's over the top gorgeous and the sparkle I mean I'm a I am a junkie for a good rhinestone so this is just very pretty look at the back even the back is pretty it's just a really well made piece it's in that Juliana style that I love I don't know if it's an authentic piece, but it definitely does have the style that I like. It's kind of a snowflake, so I really just, I love, look at that sparkle. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. Oh, beautiful. I want to kiss it. <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> um, this is a, from another lot. This is a faux marcasite bracelet probably from around the 1950s um it's really pretty it's got the standard clasp clasp style on it let's see if you can see a uh, standard clasp on it it's a pretty pretty it's a really pretty bracelet i really like it i saw it and i was like oh i like mark sites even if they're fake it's very elegant and simple would look very pretty with like a blue dress oh I have the perfect dress for that oh I'm so excited now <laughs> I don't sound excited but I'm sick so bear with me uh, from the same seller this really pretty wreath brooch with rhinestones there's rhinestones going all the way around the top of it um, it's just simple and rhinestones and I I just love rhinestone brooches i think they add sparkle enough sparkle to an ev an everyday outfit to give you enough whimsy to keep going um it's got the little holes in the back very 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 delicate and dainty um i've got several atomic style earrings to get through so let's get started with those ones there's these style which I love the atomic style earrings. They're clipbacks, which I'm actually starting to prefer clipbacks to regular earrings just because they just come in so many vintage styles and you you can see that they've got the 
See if I can get it to focus on them. Oh, come on. Don't be stubborn. There we go. It's got the little, like, sapphires, sapphire-colored rhinestones to go around the outside, and then the little pearl on the anal in the middle, and then the atomic spikes. Just very classic, funky, and then there are the, cl the little screwback style. Very pretty. And if you have gauges, you can wear screwback earrings very comfortably. I do it all the time. I wear silicones and just pop the the screwbacks right into the silicone holes and it works really well and it doesn't pinch which is a big concern with screwback earrings these are another almost like a layered atomic it's got the little spikes let's wait till it the little spikes that go around the outside but then it's actually layered if it will focus oh my camera stinks Okay, so it's got the bottom layer of, this is rhinestones, and then there's a top layer of rhinestones, and then there's two layers of pearls. There's the ones on the outside and the one in the middle. But as you can see, I don't know how well my camera will pick it up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at, look at that rhinestone. Oh, woe is me. I want to just... Oh, I want to wear them right now. They're just so gorgeous. I can't, I can't, I can't even. I hate saying that, but it's just one of those instances where it just so fits because these are absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning pieces. I am so happy to add them to my collection. And then these are my absolutely favorite pieces. They are my crown and glory because, again, they're the, these are just regular clipbacks. You know, they've got the... The little mechanism right there. But they're just really funky. And can you imagine how cute these would look on your ears? Let's see. Let's fix it right there. Look at that. Oh, look at the red ruby colored rhinestone. Almost Aurora Borealis. But not quite. But I love how it's got the little spikes that go around the outside. Because it would like go around your ear how cool is that and then it would be on the opposite ear so here let's swap this swap these around i'm getting so excited that i can barely talk i can't contain myself so as you can see oh look at that sparkle that's just i i i can't i just i think these are gorgeous and i cannot wait to put these with an outfit i've already got a couple pieces in mind to match these with because they're just too gorgeous not to wear on a regular basis but could you imagine how they would look on the outside of your ear like going around your ear it would almost look like a conch shell it's just so pretty so that's it for this lot this was a smaller lot the next lot is about 34 pieces and i'll be doing a separate video for that one because it is quite large and <laughs> i don't want to bore you guys so stay tuned for that video and thanks guys love you